because I really don't know what I would do if I didn't have some work that I had to get to. Hello, hello, hello. This is Shirley Crawford, the owner of Second Chance Consulting and the executive director of the Women's Business Center, where I'm currently located. Sitting here in my office, looking out my windows on this fabulous Saturday. It is Saturday for me. When you see this, who knows what it'll be. But today for me, is Saturday. And so I am back again with another episode of Works Hardaholics. That's Work Hardaholics. And you might say, if this is your first time joining us, what exactly is a Work Hardaholic? I've never heard this word before. I have not seen it in the dictionary. Well, there's a reason for that. I made it up. But it makes perfectly logical sense. So here's the deal. A work hardaholic is someone who is always doing something. You tell them they don't have to, there's no need to join in, and they're always either working or participating or thinking or planning or plotting or moving or doing or shaking or something. It's who we are. And it's time for us to stop apologizing or trying to be anything other than what we are. We work hard, we play harder, and then we go back to working again. So, uh, for today's episode, we're not going to be here too long, I don't think, you know, these things now don't last all that long, but I want to give you some good information, um, educate you a little bit, update you a bit, and if you are a work hardaholic, give you some tips to make sure that you are indeed playing harder, and there's a balance between how much you work and how much you play. So, first things first. Being the geek extraordinaire that I am, yay, geeks. I want to share with you first and foremost our work hardaholics word for the day. So, I love words. I've shared this with you all before. I I love them so very much. Um, So, today's word is supercilious. Say that five times fast. Supercilious, 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 supercilious. Clearly, I've said the word before, but you know if it's your first time might trip your tongue a little bit. Here's what's funny about that word. That word actually means an individual who acts or thinks as if they are superior to others. So um, just by using the word, someone using it might be doing it in a haughty manner to show you that they are indeed supercilious. That I'm better than you. Na 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 boo boo. But uh, ironically enough, the original meaning of the word comes from the Latin and it's all about the eyebrow. Um, and I, it's a look I give to people, so I have to think about them making sure that I'm not acting in a supercilious fashion or superciliously. Because it sounds like super silly, but it's not. And so it comes from the Latin for eyebrow, which mine could probably be shaped now, but hey, passing that moment on. And so apparently those who were acting supercilious were known to give the haughty look. And so that's what the word means. So add that to your vocabulary, supercilious. Okay, now that I've shared my love of words with you, we're going to move on a little bit. So you might want to ask the question of, are you a work hardaholic? Here is the surefire way that I figured out to tell you if you are or not. If you're even thinking to yourself, am I a work hardaholic? You probably are. Because the person who is the slacker or the easygoing one who's not, who can just sit and chill and max and relax and have no thought at all about what I did at the office or what should I be working on next or what's my next project or where do I want to go or I just constantly has this mental process happening, they're, they won't think they're a work hardaholic. So if you're even thinking it, more than likely you are. Welcome. Welcome to your tribe. We're here for you. Just to let you know. Um... And that kind of also takes me into what is our play harder moment. So we're, we always want to make sure that you are living in balance. So that in mind, I know it's Saturday. I'm here at work. I'm happy to be here. I haven't been here all day. Talking about balance is also a matter of talking about having the tips, the tools, the resources, the techniques that you can manage your time more wisely so that you can work hard, play harder. So, for example, this uh, today, Saturday, this weekend alone, already, starting yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I did a Gilmore Girls Marathon with my niece. That was great. 
Yay! Um, followed that up with the birthday celebration with my friends. They did pedicures and then we went to Muse and they did the paint night, the whole deal. And uh, in between there, you know, dinner. And then today, uh, I did a bunch of work at the house this morning before I actually got up and got out the door. There was the um, author Ash. Uh, hopefully, you're familiar with who that is. If not, please look it up. You should be you should be informed. The Author Ash Boulevard dedication was this morning. Went to that event. Very exciting. Got to hear Senator John Lewis speak, in addition to others. But um, I don't get to hear Senator John Lewis speak very often. I, I think I've heard him in person maybe once or twice. So that's always an extra pleasure. And it was a great program. Um, then I had a client meeting. And hey, now I'm here. And working some more. Saying hi to all you work hardaholics. And then I'm going to, you know, I don't know. Hmm, figure that out. I'm going to do something social. Or I might just go home and read a book. Because we can do that. Work hardaholics, we can. That we can just max around we can just max out. Tomorrow I'll go to church, I'll run some errands probably for my mother, which is what generally happens on Sundays, and then I'll do something social. And uh and for me, that's actually a light schedule. Like that didn't sound like a lot to me. To you that might sound like a lot, but to me that wasn't a lot of stuff. I'm including family and friends and my spirituality and all these things because of tools like the one I'm going to share with you. So my play harder moment is also tied into my tool moment, my tech tool moment. And that's to ask you all, do you utilize Hootsuite? Hoot, hoot, hoot. <laughs> okay, I don't know why that was funny to me. Um, Hootsuite is a social media platform tool. And it helps you to schedule out social media campaigns, uh, events on multiple platforms all at once. So for me, I do it on Sundays, normally Sunday afternoons. Um, 3 p.m. on Sundays is normally my writing time. Um, and then right after that, I'll normally make my postings for the week for my clients for social media. So check that tool out, Hoot, H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E, Hootsuite. Um, something to also note is that on several of the social media platforms, you can actually schedule out in advance. So you can go on to Facebook right now and schedule your posts for tomorrow or the day after. Hootsuite allows you to share a post. So if you want to post it, go to Facebook and Twitter and um, Instagram is always a little questionable one for other platforms, then that's one way you can make the post and schedule it on all of those at the same time. Uh, and you can do most of that for free. Now, when you get to the point where you're having, like I do, multiple, multiple accounts, because I'm doing other people's social media as well, then you'll have to get to the paid platform. No longer free for you. Okay, so that's my play harder moment brought to you by utilizing your time more wisely using tools like Hootsuite. Totally unpaid for that. They don't even know I'm doing it. They see that. Hi, Hootsuite people. Maybe you should think about paying me because I talk about you a lot too. Okay, going to wrap this up and want to share with you the schedule of things that are happening here at the WBCRVA. We had a paint and sip on Thursday um, and they had a blast. It's a decade of fire. And so this is a documentary um, coming July 20th. And we are the only ones allowed in the city of Richmond to show this premiere. So it's a premiere kickoff. It's doing an East Coast tour. It'll be in Richmond July 20th. It's actually free, but you have to register. Outside of that, ah, oh, did I mention again? It's my birthday, June 29th, next Saturday. Yeah. So we're doing a special here at the center that if you register, if you are accepted, because registration isn't enough, if you are accepted here at the center, you can get the month of July free. Oh, because it's my birthday. Yay. <laughs> okay. So I'm saying farewell to you. I'll see you all the next time. If you have a specific business question, consulting, entrepreneurship, time management, anything in that category, drop me a line at Shirley at WBCRVA.com or leave me a comment below. Uh, outside of that, pleasure spending time with you all. Live better, do better, be better, and happy entrepreneuring. Until next time, work hard, Alex. I'll see you then. This is Shirley Crawford signing off. <laughs> Ta ta. Because I really don't know what I would do if I didn't have some work that I had to get to.
Da 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 da